Hey ladies and gents, welcome back. So one of the questions we get asked a lot is what product do you guys recommend for waterproofing your shoes or boots? Now, real quick, let me preface this because I know I'll get a lot of questions on it. There is a difference between weatherproofing shoes and waterproofing shoes. As you know, if we recommend weatherproofing your dress shoes, your nice you know, luxury shoes, your sneakers, but waterproofing your shoes is a bit different and today that's what we're going to talk about and we're also going to talk about again one of the products that we recommend which is called Snow Seal. This is a pair of Heats boots. Uh, they were given to him by our dad. If you guys remember, our dad was in the military, he flew. So this is an old pair of flight boots. They have seen their better days, but Heath uses these around the yard, uh, a lot of yard work, construction, and they tend to get a lot of moisture on them, especially when doing yard work. So he wants us to put the snow seal on there, which is really gonna seal in those pores and protect these boots for years to come. Okay guys, so the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is take a hot source to, that's going to warm up your leather. So whether it's a hot gun like this one, or you know, a heat gun, or a hair dryer, some folks have even put their shoes into a very low temperature oven. I wouldn't recommend that one, but basically that's what you're wanting to do is just heat up the leather so that it opens up the pores and allows this beeswax to get down into those pores. Okay, now one of the things that I really like about Snow Seal is that, again, it protects, it preserves the boots. It's made from a naturally sourced product, which is beeswax and it's been around for years. I used to use this stuff when uh, Heath and I worked on a golf course in the maintenance crew uh, when we were in college, and we would, pre, you know, before using this product, we would get a lot of moisture from those early mornings on the golf course seeping into our leather boots. The leather would deteriorate over time, start cracking, and that moisture would get to our feet and it, it was no good. So someone introduced us to snow seal back then. We started putting it on our boots and it was a game changer. It just does a really, really great job. Again, whether you have hiking boots, whether you're a guy that uses your boots for work and you're around a lot of water and moisture, snow, ice, this is the type of product that you want to be using to really penetrate that leather, provide a lot of protection from the moisture. Okay, now after you've warmed up the leather, what you wanna do is just to take a little bit of the snow seal and start working that into the leather. The leather is gonna be warm, so it's going to automatically melt into the shoe. Now, one thing that I want to tell you is make sure you warm up the leather before you apply the snow seal. Some people try to apply the snow seal and then melt it in. It doesn't do as good of a job as if you preheat that leather first. So that's just a little pro tip, a piece of advice from me. That's what I would do first. What you may want to do is after that first coat, you may want to take the heat gun or the hair dryer and heat up that leather once again and then apply a second coat to the leather. Basically what you're wanting to do is just fill in those pores with the snow seal. So if it takes two coats, three coats, you'll begin to know that you've applied enough when it just doesn't seep into the leather anymore. All right, one of the things that you have to remember guys is whether you're using a hair dryer or a heat gun, you wanna make sure that you're keeping it at a relatively low setting. You don't wanna burn the leather. You just wanna make sure that the web, that the, uh, the leather is warm to the touch after you're done and just enough warmth that beeswax will melt into the leather. So don't get it too hot, not scorching, just enough to melt the wax. Okay, now after you've applied enough coats to your footwear, then what you want to do is just take a soft rag and simply just wipe over your boots just to remove any excess snow seal that may be on there. And just lightly wipe off the shoe or the boot. And then after that, you're just going to let them sit, harden up a bit, and then you'll be ready to go. 
Okay guys, now one thing to keep in mind, you wanna make sure that you're getting the snow seal anywhere on your footwear that water could penetrate. So it is okay to put it on the welts of your shoes. It's okay to get it all over the stitches. You just wanna make sure, again, that wherever water may seep into, that you're putting that snow seal so that there's getting a good bond and protection for your, your boots. Okay guys, that's just about it. So after that, you're just gonna let your boots dry out. That beeswax will begin to harden, and then you're gonna have a nice protection or a nice protective coat from any snow, ice, water, whatever may be out there, including dirt. This is a product that we've been using for years on our own personal boots. And again, these are heats, and he does a lot of yard work in these, and this is going to give him a lot of protection. I mentioned this earlier in the video, but because we have a lot of shoe folks watching our videos, I just want, again, to make a differentiation between the two products. Guys, if you have nice dress shoes, nice suede, sneakers, anything like that that you are wanting to protect, I don't necessarily recommend the snow seal. Because it does have beeswax and whatnot in it, it will darken your shoes a lot. As you can see, these were extremely discolored and look how much, you know, it put the black right back into it. If you have a nice pair of dress shoes or sneakers, it can darken that leather. Instead, what I would do on those types of shoes is use a weatherproofing spray. We've done other videos on that and I'll put the link above. Definitely check out those videos. But for something you know, that's very utilitarian, such as a work boot, a hiking boot, something like that, I would recommend something more hardy and substantive like the snow seal. Um, a weatherproofing spray is, might do the job, but it's not rugged enough. You need something, you know, something like this. So again, I just wanted to differentiate between the two so that I don't get you guys in trouble and ruin any shoes out there. I hope this video was helpful. Definitely hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Click on the subscribe uh, button below and hit the notification bell for all of the videos that we have coming out. Again, guys, not only do we do repairs, but we will be talking about a lot of products that we use around the shop that's going to help you and protect your footwear as well. All right, guys, that just about does it. Until next time, y'all have a good one.